All right, so let's install Hyperland on Nix OS. So start out, let's, uh, so we're in GNOME right now, but um, we're, we're gonna install Hyperland and we're gonna start out by opening a terminal. Um, I have some notes in here because I'm gonna copy and paste the config in here. So yeah, just gonna use one terminal to edit the config and one to look at the notes. So edit the config file. And let's see here, go down to where our packages are installed and I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at some notes. All right, so this is just uh first thing we're gonna look at is right here. So I'm gonna put this actually above where our packages are defined. So I'm gonna paste this in right here. Paste, all right, so notice we have programs hyperland enable equals true to enable the hyperland module and i'm going to have services display manager default session not set to hyperland uh you know what we could set that to hyperland um so you, you could you could do that if you like and you can also change the display manager if you're setting this up without a graphical environment at all you might want to install a display manager um, like SDDM or something like that. We're not doing this in this video. In this video, we're assuming you're going from GNOME to Hyperland or something else to Hyperland. So we're gonna stick with GDM for now, for better or worse. So we're, we're not even adding the config for that. You could change your default session to Hyperland if you want. Um, I'm gonna leave it as is, leaving that commented out, but you can see in there what you would use if you wanted to do that. So enable Hyperland. Now we need a few uh, packages installed here. So let's go ahead and add them over here. So we're using NWG look for that's an optional thing for theming. And you have the way bar, it's a status bar and Wofi, I guess is a launcher. I'm not super familiar with Hyperland stuff. I don't use it that much and I'm kind of new to it. Kitty is a very popular terminal and Hyperland is Hyperland itself. So let's copy this. I'm not sure if you need this here. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how that works. So, yeah. oops, you know what? I need to be down here. There we go. So Hyperland, um, I'm actually not sure if you need the package here and up here and the module up here. We'll see if we have a failure, I'm gonna remove that. So let's go ahead and save this and apply the configuration. So NixOS rebuild switch. So it looks like it's working so far. And one thing to keep in mind with Hyperland is that you're going to want to reboot before this will show up in GDM ju just to, uh, and if you were to switch to SDDM, I'm not sure, you're probably going to have to reboot for that as well. There we go. We have it installed. So before I do anything else at all, I'm just going to reboot. And you don't need sudo. I have permission to just reboot as my current user on NixOS. All right, so here we are. We are ready to log back in. So what we're gonna do in GDM anyways, you click on the user and once you've clicked on the user, there's a little gear that appears in the corner, the lower right corner here. So you can click on this and notice we had GNOME and GNOME on Xorg. So there's Wayland GNOME and Xorg GNOME. Those were already installed by default after installation because I selected that during install. Now here we have Hyperland. I don't think that was an option at all during installation. So that's what I just installed manually in this video. So click on a Hyperland and that's gonna become the default now. That's what we're gonna log in as and that's now gonna be the default, which we could have set uh, programmatically in our config file. Logging in here, let's see if this works. Okay, there we go. So for a second there, my capture card cut out, I guess uh, logging into this for a second there, my capture card cut out. So in the video, you might've seen that. It, it's it's not exactly what I saw on my actual screen. So yeah, welcome to Hyperland. Um, all right, thanks. That's all fine and great. So you basically with Hyperland, you just get this blank screen with nothing here. All right, I don't even see the bar at the top. That might not be working. All right. So basically you can't do anything. You can't right click or anything. You might, if you want to do any of that, you might be able, 
want to install additional software or different additional packages is pretty minimal what I have here. But what you want, if you want to do something, you can say window button or the super key and Q. And that's going to open up a terminal, which by default is going to be Kitty. Now there's an actual configuration that will, uh, there's a Hyperland configuration that um, is the default Hyperland configuration that tells it to do this. We didn't configure that at all in our configuration file for NixOS. Um, we could configure it in NixOS and have it overwrite that, I think. But basically, um, the configuration file, I think, tells you what your default terminal is. So when you press super Q, that opens a terminal. Um, that opens Kitty by default. So if you didn't install Kitty, it won't be able to, it's not going to know to use no terminal or, uh, you know, X terminal or whatever else. So basically anytime you hit super Q, it opens a new terminal, automatically tiles it just like this, which is kind of neat. Looks pretty. You can see the, this thing surrounding the uh, window. You can see it's a uh, light blue at the top, light greenish at the bottom, like aqua green, whatever you would call that aqua green but it automatically resizes things like this. Now you can click on them to uh, use this and uh, all right, whatever your mouse is over, that's what you're typing in. So you don't even have to click on it really. Now you can switch, uh, you can switch where a window is like um, I think super, no, no, super in the arrows are gonna switch between windows. I'm not doing a whole Hyperland tutorial and showing you how to use Hyperland in this video. But this is how you do this. Um, that's how you switch between windows with the keyboard. You use the arrow keys and the super key, right? Now, if you use the super key and click on a window like this, you can move it over here and you can move this over here. Uh, so you can move these however you like. Moving something, it's usually gonna become the smaller window. So if you wanted that to become the larger window, you have to move this other one out of the way. So it's, it's interesting. And you could, you could launch, say, uh, Firefox. And we have a nice small Firefox window. Drag and drop it over here. Drag this over here. And, uh, you do. Uh, let, let's say I, I know gnome I know the gnome terminal is gonna fail in this but let's see if a uh, gnome system monitor will even run yes it works all right and let's drag this guy out of the way here place it right down there so we got our gnome system monitor running up here that looks nice and pretty and we've got our uh, you know Firefox over here and all this other stuff. So that's all fine and great. That's basically, uh, yeah, this is Hyperland working. There's no bar at the top. Waybar is not working by default with my configuration that I use. So that's gonna need more tweaking or troubleshooting to get it to work. I'm, I'm honestly not sure why that doesn't work. I'm not sure what Wofi does and I'm not sure what Waybar does. Um, NWG look, I'm not sure how that works either. Um, All right, so there we go. We just need to start Waybar. So there we go. I started it from a terminal. So I believe I'd have to add that to my, uh, like a, an init script or my config or something. I have to do, so this is nice. It gives me network info up here. That's kind of cool. That That is pretty cool. Some, uh, all right, analog audio. All right, anyways, that's interesting. Um, I think these are characters not displaying properly, but yeah, I think they're supposed to be characters here and they're missing. So if I installed another package or configured something else differently, I think I would get more uh, useful information up here at the top. So this is not configured properly. I need something to actually launch Waybar. I'm not sure how to use Wofi at the moment. And um, there you go though, That that's Kitty and stuff. Um, I, I wonder if N, NWG look. I wonder if that's something I can, okay, I can launch that. Okay, there you go. So I'm gonna drag this over here because that's pretty important actually. So NWG look, um, icon theme. 
All right, icon theme pre, we only have this one icon theme. I guess we could install others. Yeah, this is what came with GNOME, mouse cursors. Uh, we could see, yeah, just one we have installed right now, fonts. Uh, I guess we could change some things with the fonts. Other, our UI settings, toolbar style, text, yeah. So uh, I'm not even seeing the toolbar at the moment. So I'm, I'm not sure how to do that. Preferences, whoops. Move these out of the way. I am not used to a tiling window manager. I'm more of a GNOME KDE per, wow. Alrighty. All right, anyways, preferences. All right, here, files to export. All right, so you could configure things in these files and that's about all I'm seeing. So yeah, this is great for configuring things, but yeah, I'm not sure what else we could do unless we installed some more themes. So there's a lot more to do to get everything working properly in Hyperland. So you're, you're gonna have to poke around and tweak it a whole lot. This is as far as I'm going with this today. So there you go, at least I've got it at least mostly installed. This is Hyperland. Um, Real simple, incomplete installation. So that's about it for today. So, uh, you know, might want to give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful or interesting. Definitely leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know or any comments, questions, anything you want to say. But also make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our other great tech content. Also hit the bell icon so you actually get a notification. If we do come out with new content, we're going to be doing a ton of other great content. Lots of Linux stuff. Still doing Windows and, and uh, Mac OS. We're also doing like hardware, software, electronics, servers, desktops, 3D printing, Raspberry pies, robots, networking, and all that great stuff. So you don't want to miss out. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon. But that's about it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.